Hi everybody, welcome to today's Steelers Nation Unite Weekly Huddle presented by Hyundai. I'm Missy Matthews, joined today by tight end Xavier Grimble, fresh off the practice field. How has OTAs been going so far? You guys just completed week two. Uh, OTAs have been going good. Just trying to get better at the details, um, get more comfortable in the schemes that we're trying to run, and uh, just getting better each day right now. All right. All right, we have a ton of fan questions, so I want to jump right to them. This first one is from DSC. Uh, Xavier, do you have a problem being called X-Man, and when was the first time anyone started calling you by that nickname? Uh, almost, I wouldn't want to say at birth, but at least by the time <laughs> I was playing t-ball, um, youth basketball, youth football, some of my coaches were already calling me X-Man, just because, you know, I think I was named after Xavier McDaniel, he was a really good basketball player for the Dukes back okay. in the day, I think I used to call him X-Man too, so. He has been following me my whole life, so gotcha. no problem with that. All right, this is from SNU member. Who was your favorite NFL team growing up? Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, no lie. It was pretty much, I mean, we didn't have, we don't have a team. We get a team now in Las Vegas. But uh, growing up, uh, my uncle, he coached me all the way through. I mean, that was his team. So that's all I knew. That's all I saw. So Worked out perfectly. Perfect. All right, love my Steelers wants to know, first of all, go Bishop Gorman, your high school hey. team. Second, if possible, would you change your number to your USC number? Uh, man, there was obviously a great that wore that number. Um, I love 86, <laughs> um, but I'd have to play a lot better. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes in the future. All right, this is from Steelers 74. What area of your game will you be working on the most to improve for the upcoming season? Thank you for all your hard work. Uh, can never get too t too much technique as far as blocking goes. Um, being more consistent in the pass game and a more definitive route runner is some of the things I'm working on and uh, going after the catch too. Okay. Canada One wants to know what position would you play if not tight end? Love you in the black and gold. Hmm. Well, I used to want to be a quarterback. I played quarterback for a little while in youth. Um, I probably would be a Sam linebacker. I mean, he's pretty good against the run. Okay. Uh, T. Hallman wants to know, what is your favorite thing to do in Pittsburgh outside of football? Outside of football? Go to the hockey games. I must say, um, I never was a big hockey fan until I got here, but uh, they're much better to watch in person. It's cool to see. So I, I especially think the fans being so good, it's fun to go to the game. So. Okay. Um, Ursel wants to know what is your favorite member, favorite moment? Excuse me, being a Steeler so far. Uh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, this is my first team that I was active on. So if I could just say the whole thing, I would. But I mean, literally every day that I run out that tunnel and I'm playing for my favorite. Best feeling in the world. So. All right. Somebody from Oklahoma who forgot to leave their name says hello. How do you think the tight end group is shaping up without Ladarius Green? Well, I think the group is good. Um, I mean, uh, I think we have a lot of good guys in the group. I mean, we have, we have Justin who's been here before I got here. So, I mean, now he's, you know, leading the way. And I think Justin's been here before. Mm -hmm. He's still a vet player. So, there's a lot. I mean, Justin could both learn from him. And I think we have a good group. Good group. We have some solid young guys um, working their way up. So we have a solid group overall. All right. Steelers Maniac wants to know who is your favorite opponent and why? Uh, as far as teams, let's let's go with the Ravens. Can't beat that rivalry. No, it's a good one. Yeah, can't beat that rivalry. Um, I mean, having played them in the championship game this year, that was a lot of fun. And the Black Dog jersey, so probably the Ravens. Okay. All right, we want to let you know our keyword for today is catch, so you can head to SteelersNationUnite.com after this on the homepage. Enter the keyword catch to earn some yards for joining us for this weekly huddle. Back to your questions. This is from MyFranco32. Good afternoon, Xavier. Do you get a restful night before each game? What about a healthy and hearty meal? Um, that's a tricky one. Uh, try to eat a lot of carbs before games. Even eat a little fat because you know it's a, a game is a marathon. It's gonna be a lot of plays played at a at your highest level. You know it's really intense. So uh, definitely gonna need a big meal, a lot of carbs, 
good amount of protein and a lot of sleep. Like eight, ten hours if you can. Probably try try to sleep as much as I can in that amount of time. Okay. All right, we already went over your nickname, X-Man. Heather wants to know if you have any other nicknames besides that. Um, besides X-Man, a lot of people back home call me Zay. Okay. Which is like Z-A-E. And then X, and it all revolves around Zay. Okay. Like X-Man, X <laughs> Nicknames Zay. of the nickname. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, Ted Webb would like to know, um, it's game day. What are you listening to in your locker? Or while you're warming up on the field to get you ready? Uh, I'm listening to Dave East right now. Um, let's see, Fabulous, probably Lil Wayne in there, and some local guys back home, T Rap, and a lot of rap and hip hop pretty much. Okay. Part. Something to get me, uh, keep me going. All right. <laughs> Seal Dream 7 wants to know what home cooked meal would you like if you could have it when you were on the road during the season? Home cooked meal if I could have it on the road. So it probably wouldn't be something too bad. <laughs> probably bad sometimes. But right now, um, salmon, quinoa brown rice, and asparagus. I know that sounds really boring, but. Sounds good. Um, I can make it really taste good. Okay. <laughs> All right, JR wants to know, what part of your game do you feel that you've improved on the most? Um, thus far? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, I believe I'm becoming more consistent and playing with more confidence. You know, I feel like for me, that's kind of a big thing. Um, I feel like the more confident I can play and the more I know my job and my role within the scheme, I can play faster without thinking. year I feel like I'm not thinking as much at this point okay uh, and that's one of the huge stuff for me all right Casey Steelers says how do you see the tight end position fitting into the Steelers offense this upcoming season uh very important pivotal part um we have a, a tough job you know, we gotta make the pass game we gotta make the run game and gotta affect um, both um, in a big way so I mean I see us being an important part of this offense always playing on it we believe that as well. So it's it's in our best interest to be on our job and be really detailed at our work. All right. Brian would like to know, what was your most memorable moment during high school football? Hmm. Uh, during high school football, let's see. Um, I'm a team guy, so obviously winning. I think that was uh, two championships that I won for the state. That was definitely uh, big for me. You know, I was in Go out of high school with the dang, so mm -hmm. stay in a big way. And uh, that's probably my most memorable moment. So, you know, winning it for all the guys who wouldn't go on to play and who were part of the last year playing ball, so just having fun and being a team player. All right. This is from Rich. He's from Las Vegas. Enjoyed watching you in high school and at UNLV. Uh, said he wishes you would have stayed there. <laughs> He said, besides your hard work and dedication, is there anything in particular, anyone in particular, who has helped you to have success with the Steelers? Um, I mean, believe it or not, just the guys that are around you, um, the culture that Coach Tomlin is building there. I mean, uh, my coach, one thing he said to me early on was just about, you know, listening and uh, taking um, everything that's being said to heart and really trying to comprehend it. And uh, just being around some of the great players that have been here and that are still here and uh, just listening to some of the things Coach T says in meetings, I think it's uh, grown me a lot and made me a lot better just as far as my approach to the game and how I work it. All right, we have time for one more. This is from Elect Lady S. What are you most, most looking forward to accomplishing this upcoming season? Championship. Uh, I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Any way we can get to that the seventh one, uh, that'll be it right there. I think everybody can agree to that. Yeah, I, I think fans will like that answer yeah. as well. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you to you, the fans, for submitting your questions today. Don't forget the keyword is catch. You can head to SteelersNationUnite.com and enter that on the homepage. Thanks for joining us for the Weekly Huddle presented by Hyundai.